Hey, hey, Tony Gaston here, popping in. Listen, this parenting thing. Woo! It's parenting. But you know what, though? As parents, we got to exhaust ourselves. A lot of times, parents get so caught up focusing, just like Christians who get so caught up focusing on grace. Parents get so caught up focusing on me time and putting me fur and we should have thought about that before we got on our bike and had kids once you get on your bike and have kids it's about them kids it's about them kids but them kids didn't ask to be here we brought children into the world without their approval so now it's on us the rest while they is resting to rest while they in school to listen to gospel music or motivation podcast read books all day long to cut out the junk cut out the noise cut out the nonsense and to lock in and the focus so that when we with our kids we able to do what we supposed to do so I'm out in the bar and I'm, I'm trying to make a living making a living for my kids I get home last night one o'clock in the morning I'm winding down sitting down you know got to get ready for bed my wife, she gone to bed already. She wake up a little bit, share a couple words with me, roll on over, go to bed. I got to be up. I probably get to bed about three o'clock in the morning. Then got to be up at, so why is you getting behind me? Car. So then I got to be up probably seven o'clock, 7.30. After going to bed, what it was, 3, 3.30. So about four hours of sleep, but my body woke me up at 6. You know how your body wake you up at 6 to pee. So really, two and a half, three hours of sleep. Get back into bed, it's hard to kind of fall back to sleep. So next thing you know, sitting there. Gotta take my son, drive him 30, 40 minutes to drop him off to get on the bus. Cause we got a game three and a half hours away. So the team's taking the bus. So I get up, take him so he could get on the bus. Then I go back home to try to get my little sleep in. Probably about a 45 minute nap. Then I got to get up, get on the road by myself because Tatum playing hour and 15 minutes away from the house, so my wife had to take Tatum. So my wife take Tatum, and then I'm taking, I driving up here, not even taking my son, because they rode a bus. So I'm driving to my son game, and then after this, got to drive back three and a half hours. Seven hours of driving in one day, not including uh, the other hour and 20. So it's going to be eight hours and 20 minutes of driving in one day for my oldest son's soccer. Listen, the parenting is not easy, but it's what we got to do. Because we got to expose our children to the world. We got to show them life. We got to put them in activities, put them in things, get them something to do. And we got to bust our butt. We got to be creative. We got to think outside the box. We got to string everything together. We got to do everything we could possibly think of so that we can give them all the opportunity that they need. Because that opportunity and that exposure is what's going to prepare them for life. It's time out. You cannot be a lazy parent. You 
cannot be lazy. You cannot be talking about, oh, I'm so tired from work that I can't do nothing for my kid. Because now what you're doing is you're perpetuating a cycle because your parents was too tired to do something for you. So now you too tired to do something for your child, then your child gonna be too tired to do something for their child, and it just perpetuating the cycle, and this is what we call generational curses. But it's not actually a curse. It's generational choices, which creates generational patterns. So what you have to realize is you gonna have to do it tired. You're going to have to do it tired and you're going to have to do it emotionally intelligent because it don't do you no good to be snapping on your kids and going off on your kids because you tired. You got to rest on the everlasting arms of the Lord. So you got to go to the Lord. Lord, I'm tired. Lord, I need strength. Lord, give me patience. Lord, give me peace. Lord, give me power. Lord, give me poise. Lord, grant me everything that I need in Jesus' name. You got to go to the Lord from whence cometh your help. You got to know from whence cometh your help now. Because what we can't do is take it out on them kids. And we all as parents have been guilty of that. And if you have not been guilty of it, then that might mean you might be doing you might have been guilty of the other opposite of the other end of the spectrum of doing too much coddling too much babying we got to find that happy medium to where we are loving but we also are consistent with our expectations and the standards that we have for our household so last night my wife texted me because i was on the road she texted me and she said, can you text your son bedtime at 1030 so that he thinks, so that he knows you agree with that. So I said, all right. So I text him, hey, get off your game 1015. Be in the bed by 1029. Any later than that, no game next weekend. He texts me back, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. So now here, here we are. Friday night. You don't necessarily want to have your 16-year-old go to bed at 1030. But hey, you got to be up. You got to be up 730. You need a full night rest. You got to do what you got to do. Younger son went to bed 830. So he had a little sniffle. All right, go on to bed, get you some rest. Go on to bed and get you some of that good rest. So, the parenting, the consistency, that could get hard, but we got to do it. We got to do it. We can't slip up on that. So, okay, Spurry, that's D Spurry. Gridiron Grill. Right, boy, got a old restaurant. All right, Sperry. That's what we got to do. We got to be loving, but we also have to have standards. We got to have expectations, and we got to uphold them. And we got to be consistent with the rewards, and consistent with the consequences. My little son, Tate, and I told him, listen, every goal you take, every goal you take, $10. They want to play pro, so I'm going to raise them like pros. There's expectations, there's penalties, there's fines, but there's also incentives. You, you, shoot, a, you shoot a goal, $10. You score a goal, $25. Guess what? He go from not shooting to the day, boom, he didn't take, he didn't took two shots already scored on the second one so see we gotta be able to incentivize because life incentivizes your job incentivizes you to show up to work every day to be on time to not call a lot you get bonuses eventually you get raises you get promotions 
So we gotta incentivize our kids. We can't just expect them to be slaves to consistency with no reward. We gotta teach them that if you sacrifice, if you are disciplined, if you are consistent, there will be a reward. So that's what we gotta do and we gotta do this better as parents because the way the world looking right now, that's our fault. That's our fault. The parents who have raised these kids that is in their 20s, that's y'all fault. The ones who got the kids that's 13 to 20, 13 to 18, that's terrible. That's y'all fault. We have to accept responsibility for what we raising and putting out into the world. And in order for us to do that, we got to learn how to balance self-care and parenting. Got to be able to do both. Can't do one or the other. Got to be able to do both. Point blank period. Hey, this is Tony Gas and God bless you. I'm on the road. I want to upload the video so it can't be too long. Otherwise, it'll take a million years to upload. YouTube, y'all need to get that together. But hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon.